is over that ledge dump. Look how grown up it is already. I'm gonna walk down in here and look around for a few. I'm gonna go to that new dump, I think. I just came up to see how grown up this was. It's rained some. Go walk it a little bit. You know, I, I love doing this too. I've been doing arrowhead hunting and I haven't been on these places. It seems like a month, but it's only been like nine, 10 days. It seems like months. But right here, I see a charm or something that looks like it, maybe steer horns. See it? Washed off from the rain. I'm gonna look all around good here where I've dug. See, this ain't grown up because I've dug. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's a cow head. This is awesome. This is awesome. Wow. See, there's that steer head. Now look. I found that chuck wagon. And see the hole? These are whatever that is. That is too. Out of cereal or some TV show. Who knows? But that's cool. And just taking this plastic piece back to my bag and look down and there's a nice milk glass container. It's perfect too, see? I'm going to take that too. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff washed off. It's rained hard. Look here. Here's something else. What's that? That's a sure heck an odd bottle. Look at it. That's cool. That's nice with the cap. Just designs on it, but man, that's nice, huh? Well, that's definitely a little perfume bottle, probably from about 1940. Um, I could smell the perfume in it when I cleaned it out. That's a cool bottle. Well, I still haven't walked a bunch of this. I started raking and see the orange layer. Look what come out of it. That's a big button. I wonder if this is military. You can't tell, but look at the patina on it. It might have floral designs, but it could be an eagle button too. I think it's military. I can't tell yet, but it's a good find. If it is, we'll be able to get out the military keys. Wonder what this is. Man, I found a lot of military stuff. Don't worry about my pants. I just buy them at the thrift store. See, I think that's an eagle button. See, there's a nice eagle button. I'll have to clean it up. They're like copper, I think. Um, I'll soak this in like CLR and put it in my military frame. That's a nice one. Two-piece button. I found lots of them there. I'll show you my frame. I'll put it in. Well, it didn't look like I'll be able to fit that button in this front. Look at all the other ones I've dug and all the variety of the spoons. and There's lots of cool stuff here. You can find this stuff on the dumps. Lots of military stuff on them places. Thanks for watching. Well, do you see it? A little hiatus from this, from to the river. And I'll go back to the river. But I love digging the marbles. That looks like a master marble company. And I found some nice ones right in here. Brush patches. Oh, I think it's one of these cobalt blue bees ones, and this one looks stunning. Oh, folks, it is. Look. Oh, man. That's Master Marble Company Brushed Patch. This is what this is called. A clear base marble with bubbles. Man, this is a nice one. It's going to look good with the other ones in the frame. Look at all the bubbles down in that. That's a Master Marble Company brush patch. It looks like porcelain on that blue marble. That's pretty nice. Well, I wasn't expecting this, but what happens when it rains and I let this set? It settles. So the rain, all the stuff I have jumbled up, I can see what I'm doing. And see, I'm right down into an undug layer. And look here, I saw this rule. There's another marble. And man, folks, this might be a Christensen. This might be just like something. I can see it here. This might be the one. Let's see. Oh, fakes. It's a green Christensen slag marble. Christensen Agate Company. What the heck? That looks pretty nice. I'll have to get it cleaned up. That's been here a while. That looks like it had fluoresced, but it doesn't. It's a nice marble. You know... I found better, but that's a pretty good one. Look at that. Put it in the frame. You know, this just come out of there, and I'd say that's a big silver chain. Look at it. 
I think it absolutely is. The way it just is out of the ground. That's silver. Yeah, it's a little plastic lantern and it's on an earring. It's a charm and you can tell somebody's just put it on that. Look at that. It's a little plastic lantern charm. And somebody wore it on an earring. Machiavelli. New York City, that's, I think, perfume, maybe. That's kind of cool. We'll come out behind them marble. And look at that cobalt blue ceramic figurine. It's a little boy in a top hat and a little girl, it looks like. Well, this says B-O-B hyphen O hyphen L-I-N-K-K. Bobo Link. Bottle. And look at it. That's too bad. That's melted. It's Art Deco and it's got... That's nice. Looks like it's about 1930 to 40. Um, it looks like it said something there, but you can't tell what. Dang it. I'm punching a little deeper here. And see right there is a December 25th, 1923. And this is probably Sistersville, West Virginia. And that would have been a good one. Yep. Sistersville, West Virginia. You can see it's a little different. The WV's underlined on these. Um, see that 1923 Christmas cake from Sistersville. Too bad that's broke. I've only found maybe a half dozen of them ever. Yeah, just right after that Christmas cake, I got back in the hole and there was a penny in it. We'll see, see what it is. Well, that's 1940 something. So that's right in the wheelhouse for them good swirl marbles. Look how corroded that one is. I hit it there with a wire brush. It's 40 something, so it'd be a wheat scent. Look at the corrosion. And I think it says 1028. There's a candy container that's a train that would have been a daymaker, but it's busted in half. Too bad. Be it. I'm surface hunting this. Unless I see a smoker marble, I doubt it. I'm about done. I've been on the river. I found broken airheads this morning, but I found a nice knife yesterday. I'll get some more of them clips on, but I got a place to dig marbles up there for sure. And I can come right back. It's going to start raining. See, it looks awful. Um, it's going to start raining, so I'll be able to come up here and get right in that hole and make a video. I've only been here about an hour. found all that stuff in this video, so not bad. Look here. It's dog bubby. You know what that means. I'm back from the dump. Squirrel master's hanging on back here. Look at him. He rides up on my shoulder. Tell him you're back here. What are you doing back here? This big boy, that's where he rides. He's going down, he's gonna run before the rain, it's gonna hit. There's thunderstorms coming in tomorrow, but I got a hole opened up in the dump, and man, Master Marble Company and an old slag marble, you cannot beat that. Couple other trinkets, and there's Dog Bubby Express, and I'll see you on the next one. Right. Look, we're back inside now. You getting your berries? See all these berries from outside here see somebody likes this fix it's what somebody wanted to go out and get the straw the wild strawberries from the yard what's this you gonna eat them all he's gonna eat them all folks squirrel man's springtime favorite wild strawberries look at them disappear well right here at the tip of my thumbs that Master Marble Company brush patch. You can see there's another one there. There's multiples of these. I found a handful of them on that dump. But this is the frame of marbles I'm working on, and it's just about done. It's looking spectacular. Proud of this. That's a big frame, and that's a lot of vintage marbles, and I've dug all these since January of this year on my channel. Hope you're enjoying. Well, I also dig ancient Native American artifacts. Some of these smokers in this frame here, I've dug here recently in my videos on my channel. Go over to my homepage. I have on right around 2,000 videos now. Arrowhead hunting, dump digging, mail detecting, doing all kinds of stuff. Later, folks.